Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. This video is all about identifying tomato suckers. I'll be doing a future tomato pruning video if you want to subscribe and talk to you about removing the suckers, creating double stem, single stem tomatoes. But before you get to that, you have to be able to identify the suckers so you can figure out if you want to remove them or not. Now, they get a bad rap because they're called suckers. They don't take the life from your plant. They will actually uh, continue to grow into production stems. They will grow leaves, flowers, and fruit. Some cases you don't want to remove them. These are determinate variety tomatoes. That means they get to a set height, they flower, they produce fruit, and then they die off. You don't want to prune suckers out of your, your determinate tomato plants, basically. You can remove some of the bottom leaves, but generally just let the plant grow. So if you look into here, right there, that's a sucker. And if this was a leaf and my finger was the main stem, right in the joint is where the suckers come out. So you have the main stem come right up here. You have a leaf coming out here and right in the joint would be the tomato sucker. Now, again, that's going to flower, that's going to produce fruit. And you can decide if you want to remove them or not on your indeterminate tomatoes. We'll go over there in a second. Here's a good example. Here's a stem, the main stem coming straight up. Here is the leaf coming up to here, and right there is the tomato sucker. Now again, keep them on your determinate variety of tomatoes. Let's go over to the other plants. I'll show you how to identify them. This is one of my indeterminate tomato beds. Now pruning is really about controlling the size of the plant. If you don't need to control the size, you don't really have to remove the suckers. But before we make decisions on that, I want to just show you how to identify them. That's the key. So you have your main stem that comes out of the ground and you work your way up work your way up. This was actually a leaf right here that's gone that was coming out. This is the sucker. It's turned into a full production stem. It will start flowering soon. Maybe I want to keep that, maybe I don't. But to keep it simple, as you go up, you see the leaf that comes out. There's the joint right in there. This would be a sucker. Again, look how big it is. I'm going to remove these because I just don't want any growth down there. You continue up, the leaf comes out, right here is a sucker and you would remove it and you can just pinch it out this one's kind of tough just like that and you kind of shape the plant that way in the next video i do i'll be talking about keeping a single stem a double stem triple stem just why you would prune and how you might do it but that's the whole process is identifying the main stem you work your way up you find a leaf that joint right in there right in here will be the sucker here's a really good example over here Coming up through here, here is the main stem. The leaf goes out, the stem continues up. Right in here is a sucker. And I'm going to remove that because I'm not going to have any lower growth here. Continue up, leaf comes out over here. There's another sucker, and you remove that. Now, when I prune and when I remove suckers, I tend to take them from the bottom here because I like creating a barrier about a foot from the soil up to here so that there's a gap and soil borne disease doesn't get up there and air circulates more easily around it. But as my tomato plant starts getting taller, you can see that it's starting to branch in three areas. Those are suckers that are becoming full production stems. And I may prune out one, I may keep them. I kind of just grow my plants kind of chaotically. Now that I use hydrogen peroxide to manage diseases, it's less important for me to prune for plant size, to prune for airflow, to prune to manage diseases because I have an effective treatment. So it's really up to you, but that's how you identify suckers. And here's the final example. Here's a stem coming straight up. Here's the leaf coming out. And right in that joint is the sucker. And I'm not gonna keep that one. You can snap it out. I'll be doing a video too. You can put these into water. They will root out, put them in your house, and you would make a complete clone of that tomato plant. Thanks for watching. Hope this gives you some confidence to identify suckers on your tomato plant so that if you decide to remove them, you're removing the right part of the plant. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and thanks for watching.